Village dwarfs, and you hide Koiki fruit? I hide nothing, you bloated puffer fish. Traitor! Gatti's jaws will close around you! Confess, Tabal, or will you let good food rot? Does mine look like a full belly, idiot? Question the rest of the Raparu. We all hunger. Disgrace. Any other Raparu has worked ten times in a day what you have in your life, and they do not complain. Akira, you must forgive my shock. Kith do not visit often, much less the gods. For what do you make of this hagfish, huh? Will Tamao confess if I tighten the ropes? Pakeho caught this wretch stealing the last of the Koiki fruit. The tribe was to feast on it for a harvest ceremony. I stole no Koiki, but I wish I had. I would have hid it somewhere most unpleasant. You hear this? A second chance we give, and Tamal throws it in our faces. Lied and stolen? Akira. When we have food, he takes more than he deserves. He steals baskets and pots, and even pill for the spearhead from a warrior on the hunt. I say there is no person in Tikawara who he has not wronged in some way. Maybe no person in the dead fire. I say I deserve what others have in plenty. Shade, a full belly, a moment to kneel on cool sands. We stopped being a tribe when Ruanu dragged us into the path of the outsiders. Now we can only save ourselves. You shame us, Tamal. To return in your next life as a coconut crab would be too kind. We would have eaten the last of the Kawiki as a tribe. This way we give our thanks to Kahopa, the eel of life. Now this cannot happen. Our harvest fails because this one puts his empty stomach higher than the gods. Kahopa will see to it that Tamel's next life has him crawling on his belly as the snake he is. I say, missing food is not the problem. Tamel betrays the tribe, dishonors the repair, denies all of us Kahopa's mercy. And he will surely wash back into our nets as a mudfish in the next life if he does not tell us where the Kawiki fruit is! Pikeho's word is enough to give Tamel over to the waves. Better to drown as an innocent man than starve with you fools. Justice does not fill our stomachs or our hearts. It brings the gods no closer to ending this famine. Until the Kawiki is found, I will delight in prodding this stubborn eel for answers. You are free to question him and your customer, say. And Peheko, he tarries often by the beach. Then you must speak with the Ranger. His lodge is at the top of the hill, past the trading post. Nairi also knows much, but she is quiet ever since. Nairi, she tends the shrine in the northwest part of town, near the statue of Ngati. Yes. 
I am a warrior like most Mataru. Can you not tell? We have little reason to fight on Tikawara, except when the fishermen drink too much of the dwarf man's liquor. But these are only small fights, not like it was on the island we left before, when the, the pirates, the, the slave... But what did I say? Ah, Tikawara does not give it abundance, but there are worse things, Akira. So the hatching scampered off then. I hope they recall this as nothing but a bad dream, Ikira. The high tide is stingy with fish, and the low tide even more so. Ikira. Tamau was creeping around the drying hut where we stored Kawiki for the ceremony north of our Ranga's home. I grabbed Tamau by the wrist and dragged him to Makubu. We found all of the Kowiki were gone. The snake brought this on himself, I say. Now Makubu will deliver him to Tangaloa's maw, where he belongs. Ikira, it is as I said. Tamau was near the Kowiki hut. Stuffing his face, I say. And if he will not admit it in this life, he will pay in the next one. I know that Makumu wished to give the fruit to Ngadi with a prayer to pull back her furious storms. It is said the gods piss on the souls of liars before sending them back to Aora as Krill. Tamau stole no Koiki. Kahopa must have made Tamau from sand lice, because he gives nothing to the tribe, only takes. Ikira. I say Tamau is guilty, even if he has no Koiki juice on his hands. He hates the tribe. Pity and charity fill his belly and shell pouch. And he has not strained a muscle to serve anyone but himself. Knowing this does not bring the Koiki back to the drying hut, but it will help to heal the tribe. No. He wants the Koiki and the guilty. So do we all, I say. I cannot say if the true thief covered their tracks, since Makumu never looked for clues. But the drying hut? Ikira, in his sandals, this is where I would look. Ruana was wise to bring us here. A year, and still foreigners never attack. But our food dwindles. Better to die fighting than starving.
Absolutely. What say? You are new to Tikawar? Only the Tamau has slept like a fat tortoise, while the rest of us chew on reeds to fool our bellies. Ikira, no one could be less surprised. Tamau had this coming. Guilty or no, being tossed to the waves is what Tamau deserves. I have no tears for him. He complained until the Ranga gave him my finest mats, and then left him out for the sport of beasts. Let the gods sort him. The tribe has challenges enough without Juana eating from each other's plates. You overstep for a stranger, an outsider. I say you should go back to the shore that welcomes you. I see your feet will not let you stay in one place. Ikira. It must have come undone from a basket or a mat. These things happen, I say. Tamau? He has a spider's craftiness, but no skill for its art. Besides, that is quarry work. I stole the Kohiki, not Tamau. Ruanu would have us waste our last Kohiki on a ceremony to the gods. I say the seeds must be harvested and planted. So I hide them by the shore, where the sun warms the sand just so, and I wait. Ikira, do you cultivate? Kowiki is tough, stubborn. It does not surrender without a fight. I let Amira's hot breath warm the heart of the seeds and tell them to grow. Ruanu would not understand. A Kuwaru like me is no farmer. It is not my place to decide what is harvested. But if I can spring life from the Kowiki seeds, then we have a chance to feed the tribe on a new crop. At least, what tribe still lives by the time the fruit grows? What say? He has stolen, insulted us, even hurled insults at the gods. He is no innocent, I say. If birthing a new crop of Kowiki means his sacrifice, even Ngadi would forgive this. Ikira, but say nothing. If Ruana takes back the Kowiki, we will grow nothing else in time to sustain the tribe. I beg of you, for the good of the tribe, let Tumau meet the gods that the rest of us might eat again.
Yes. Hello. Whatever you need, I can help. A kill. Curious. This is a weaver's material, but I say it is everywhere in Tikawara. Hit him from all the sand crabs and liars, I say. Ikira, that is no work of mine. Though I want to see you lose a finger to the crabs digging up the rest. I say I'm beyond finished. For this, I'll feed you to Ngati myself. With respect, it is not for you to question how I protect the tribe and appease the gods. Unless you think someone else is to blame. It is not worth dirtying my blade. Try not to sicken the gatti on your way down her more. Coward. I will take this satisfaction to my next life. It's about time I went my own way. Anchors away. Seek your horizons, and I shall seek mine. 